I get the question a lot, why do we drain the air tanks? All of our electric buses have a switch inside. Our CNG buses have a valve outside. I'll show the outside valve after we're done with this. With a dual air system, the front tank takes care of the back and the back tank takes care of the front. So right now we're going to open up the front valve. Assistant, please. You watch here, the front tank's going down. And what we'll do is, when the low air warning device comes on, I'll release the parking brake, put it in gear, move the bus forward using the service brake to stop it to show that the dual air system is working. Okay, Let's come on, putting the bus in drive, moving the bus forward, stopping it with a service brake. Bus back in neutral, putting it on fast idle. This is where that fast idle switch comes in handy, too. As soon as our air pressure hits 100 psi on the front tank, we'll do the rear tank. Air is building up. Today I'm using the buddy system, usually it's part of my pre-trip when I'm walking around the bus, I alternate valves, come inside and move the bus. Okay, we're at 100 PSI on the front tank, now we're going to drain the rear tank. Assistant, please. Watch the rear tank going down. We'll do the same thing when the rear tank drops down, lower air warning device comes on, release the parking brake, move the bus backwards. If the bus stops with the service brake, that means the dual air system is working correctly. Lower air device comes on, the bus is neutral. Step move the bus backwards, stop with the service brake. idle switch on and we bring the bus back up to air when it hits 120 then we can start our regular pre uh, air brake test that everybody else in the world does I'll go outside now and show you where the valves are and what each valve looks like here are the valves on the outside of the CNG bus first one's auxiliary wet air throttle suspension we don't mess with that one we use the front brake the rear brake and the wet tank. Those are the only ones drivers deal with. The other ones are for the shop to take care of. And where these are located on the bus, there you have it, the little cubby hole below the uh, access to the instrument panel. Hope this answers your questions. See you on the road.